The Jedi Temple is now in Imperial hands. Indeed it is. All thanks to your efforts, of course. At this very moment, Lord Go's team is exploring a hidden chamber rumored to hold the Jedi's most treasured secrets. Better still, the Republic will be reeling right now, stupefied over the humiliation you've wrought. My lord. Sergeant Tarsten, do you not see that I have company? Important company? Of, of course, my lord. But I have a report from, uh, from Korriban. It seems the Republic, my lord, they... Try taking a breath, Sergeant. Yes, yes, you're right. My apologies. Republic forces have made landfall on Korriban and sacked the Sith Academy. What? A retaliation so soon? What's the present status? It's done. They've taken the Academy, secured it, and reports indicate that Darth Sovereus gave his life in its defense. I see. Leave us. Darth Sovereus made a fine addition to the Dark Council. And we should all strive to be as loyal to the end. Wouldn't the Republic have been better off trying to reclaim the Jedi Temple? It's a perplexing matter, but we can't concern ourselves with it now. At this very moment, Jedi walk the halls of our Sith Academy. Our Dark Council chambers. Simply outrageous! I'm going to coordinate with our forces on Korriban. Ensure you have a safe place to land as near the Academy as possible. As with Tython, I will remain in close contact with you throughout the operation. A final note. Whoever is heading Republic operations on Korriban must be made an example of. Do not take their command lead prisoner! May the Force favor you this day. Yes. The Force be with you. And with the great Sith Empire. This is Lana Benico. Not the greatest position, I know, but the Lower Wilds is as close to the Sith Academy as our team could manage. The Republic's pulled out all the stops with this invasion, but we fully expect your retaliation to surpass their efforts. Fight your way up to the Valley of the Dark Lords and reclaim the Sith Academy. Spare no one. <laughs>
from Sergeant Tarston on the ground. It appears your arrival hasn't gone unnoticed. A Republic barricade has just been fashioned to bar your progress. While hastily constructed, it is formidable. But we have every faith in you. What is it this time, Sergeant? These Sith apprentices were holed up in a medical supply storeroom. They're injured, some of them seriously, but they're able to walk at least. Your orders? They're in no shape to fight. Find them someplace where they can recover. Yes, of course. I'll see to it personally. Move out, cowards. Now!
They've breached the front entrance. It's only a matter of time. Be ready. Jedi. You befoul the Dark Council with your presence. This place was already foul. But don't worry, sis. I have no intention of staying. It's been conveyed to me that you shouldn't be allowed to leave. Not alive, at any rate. So it's happening. I didn't think I'd have served my purpose so soon. What are you going on about? What purpose? We believe in a cause worth protecting. Worth dying for. Let's find out if you can say the same. The Force give us strength! Press the attack! You can't win! Too late! We got what we came for! Enough sparring! Did you really think you could take me? You don't even have a clue, do you? Propose a trade. You tell me everything, and I call for medical assistance. It's too late for me. But I leave this place knowing I've set a great thing in motion. And with that, the Sith Academy is secure. I suppose saying good work would constitute a gross understatement. This Jedi Commander. He said some odd things. I'm sure Darth Arcus would like to hear about it. He's eager to offer up his congratulations in person. You've really come through for the Empire. There is so much for us to thank you for, and much yet to discuss. I hope we see you soon. The Republic's been flushed from the Sith Academy, and their commander Jensen is dead. You have served the Empire with strength and passion. I applaud you. Before he died, Commander Jensen made a comment about having served his purpose. He did? Almost makes it sound as though the Republic sacrificed all those forces in support of some ulterior motive. Listen, I want to be sure you understand that what you've accomplished, both on Korriban and on Tython, will be long remembered. Everyone will look back on these days as the nascent events that framed a new foundation for the galaxy. They will see those who participated as its Architects. 
Have you taken Lord Go's vow of silence, or whatever that was? I am reflecting on the day's events. As Darth Arcus has said, your contributions thus far have been most impressive. Lana and I are indebted to you for your exemplary actions in the Empire's name. We thank you. Yes, thank you. I do hope we have the chance to speak again. Preferably soon. Glory for the Empire. This is Lana Benico. I need you to meet with me somewhere private. You may be the Empire's only hope. You came. Good. I'm aware I've been somewhat quiet following your success on Tython. Don't mistake my reticence for apathy. Truth is, I have a great deal to say. Now that we're alone, we can have a real dialogue. Why don't you start by telling me a little bit more about yourself? Oh. What is it you want to know? How did you end up as advisor to Darth Arcus? I wanted to better understand War, so I asked to be posted with him. Over time, he came to trust my opinion, so here I am. Can we... Sorry, I don't mean to appear antisocial, but I do have pressing concerns. Darth Arcus wasn't entirely forthcoming about his reasons for invading the Jedi Temple. Not even with me. He was after a very specific item. An artifact. I overheard Arcus talking to Go. It did seem like they had some ulterior motive. If I knew more, I could determine what that motive is. There's very good reason to be concerned about it. Meaning? I now believe that the Republic's attack on Korriban wasn't a retaliation for Tython. It was intended to coincide with our own attack. Attacking Korriban while the Empire still held the Jedi Temple didn't make much sense to me at the time. It still doesn't. Nor should it. Not from our current vantage point, but a wider context may exist that could explain recent events. There's something in the Force that I've never felt before. It exists nowhere and everywhere at once, rising, growing. I should sense that as well. Are you sure? I think I sense this growth because I'm tied to it somehow. Maybe by association to Darth Arcus. I think... I think the Empire is in terrible danger. I'm far from weak, but I'm only one Sith. Whatever's coming, I can't stop it alone, Roth. You won't have to. You have me. Thank you, my lord. Well, I'm afraid there's nothing for us to act on just yet. I'll keep my eyes and ears open. You do the same. I have to be at Arcus's side now, but I'll remain in touch. I promise.